such an era whereby we should be thinking of other things, other problems, trying to come up with solutions of other things. Yet, we still have a problem when it comes to the culture. The problem is whereby we don't have sanitary parts. That is a major issue, especially in our country today and in most parts of Africa. The other issue is that maybe we have the parts for those of us who can afford the parts. We have the parts, but we do not get the quality parts that we need. Personally, I can attest that the parts of today, I'm not sure the rest of the ladies, but for me, the parts in our today's world, they, they make you have an itching effect and they have a body sensation. I'm not sure if I'm the only one or all of you, uh, most of the ladies, uh, Karen, agree with me on this. And that's why, because of that, you came up with a conclusion that this is a problem in our country, this is our problem in our world, and we need to do something about it. And apart from that also, the parts that we get, as much as they're not comfortable, they're itchy, don't forget the fact that most of them are, they have plastic in them. So when we dispose them, they take years to decompose. That's affects our climate and affects and each and everything to deal with our environment. And we're here to conserve the environment. We're here to change the climate. And for that reason, that's why we bring you our nat natural, biodegradable sanitary parts. Ladies and gentlemen, guests, and my fellow innovators, we bring to you Eco Banner, a simple, affordable, and biodegradable sanitary towels. Our sanitary towels are made from banana fibers. Uh, we did a social mapping and, and identified two major counties in Kenya, Kisi County and Meru County. These people, they have a problem, but what they don't know is that the solution is quite literally in their own hands. They produce over 30 tons of bananas. By the time they are harvesting, the banana trunks are just being left to rot in the ground or they give them to the cows. But for us, we wanted to help these people using a concept of green and circular economy where one month's waste is another month's treasure. In this moment, their banana trunks are our treasures. So we cut the banana trunks, we squeeze the juice out, make the fiber, make the pulp, and use the pulp to make our biodegradable sanitary towel. And uh, this is the production chain with my team. And uh, our value proposition in the market is that we are 65% more reliable and 91% more cheaper compared to the sanitary towels that are in the market today. And at that point, our pricings will be able to keep a, a normal Kenyan farmer or, or a, an everyday Kenyan, fa Kenyan farmer and a Kenyan family who spends over $2 per month to buy sanitary towels. But with our product, we are, we, the, the family will spend $0.86 per month to get the sanitary towel. We are talking of savings of over $1.16 per month for people who live below $1 poverty line. And if you look at that saving that these people will be making per month, we are looking at a huge magnitude of impact. And um, on our unit economics, our retail price is $0.43. And also our product cost is 0 0.17. Uh, the expenses for us to incur during the production and the distribution is 0 0.10 dollars. And uh, our net profit is 0 0.16 dollars. Our market phase is divided into three different phases. Phase one, we look our product to be in local schools, working with local community leaders, uh, and also the partnerships with the NGOs and people who do charity organizations just within the local uh, community where we do our immersion program. The second phase, we target direct schools, we target governments and hospitals. In the third phase, we target disaster relief agencies such as UNICEF and Red Cross. And uh, on, on our impact, uh, we, we, make, we, we did a pilot program, reached over 250 families who can't afford sanitary towels in a single day in Kisi County and Meru County. We secured over four partnerships with three women groups, the ICY and Michael's Foundation Women Group. They were ready to, to, to embrace the solution because it was a cheap one and a reliable solution. And uh, we secured over 60,000 
pre-orders. Uh, this was a, we had a signed letter of intent from the Discover brand CEO Dennis Micheli. He gave us a, the letter is uh, uh, demanding us to be able to give uh, 60,000 uh, sanitary pads to students in the schools, mostly primary schools. Uh, what we are truly passionate about is our impact, and we broke it down to a one unit level. To every box of sachet of uh, sanitary towel that we will be selling, we will be impact impacting over seven girls and women in one household, meaning we are talking of savings of income two times their normal rate. And also, yeah. Uh, and uh, we have our first impact is uh, getting the girls sanitary towel. The second one is uh, job creation through capacity buildings because sanitary uh, ban banana fibers does not only make sanitary towels but it also makes uh, other lines of products like egg trays. We have doormats, uh, we have weaves. These are uh, once we are doing our capacity building, we'll be training women, empowering them to be job creators and also for them to be able to sustain themselves in this world where we are trying to achieve sustainability at large. Uh, we are, the, the project is aligned to goal number eight, this is to work economic growth, SDG goal number five, that, that is gender inequality, gender equality and also climate action goal number 13. We are, we are here to ask for, for us to be in the market and also for us to verify our product and for scaling because we need a faster, uh, a faster line of production. We will require three machines. The one is the, the, the cacitator. The cacitator is used to make uh, for pulp. We have a fiber reaper and also we have the pulp, uh, the center part binder. Once we have these three, we'll be able to create more than uh, 25 jobs in just one center. And we are planning to have these centers in all the 47 counties of Kenya. This we are looking at a huge magnitude of impact, creating uh, the solutions and also uh, creating employment opportunities for girls and women in our communities. Uh, these are some of our partners we've talked to, uh, our universities and Paul's University, Youth Agenda and Actors, the Discover Brand CEO and uh, Irene and uh, Kisi County and Kiambu County where we did our social mapping. And lastly, we are supported by an advisory board and uh, with over 20 years of experience, mostly in manufacturing alone. I have also a team which is passionate to this goal just as I am and also a team that has uh, a mind for business and a heart for the world. Um, the founder, uh, this is Kylie, the project manager. We have our uh, social media marketer, uh, Manuel Tony, Dura Tony, the financial strategist. And also we have Dennis Munga, the CEO of uh, Discover Brands, is our consultant. We have Ellen Corus, our consultant, and Deborah Shimanga that works with the UNICEF from uh, Congo refugee camp. Uh, thank you so much.